What is going on guys? It is DJK and today I am back with another live episode for you guys. Today we are playing some more Advanced Warfare. And today we're on the map Detroit and we're not off to the best of starts. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed my previous videos. Hopefully you'll enjoy this one. If you do, leave a like rating. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you are new. So hopefully today we can get a nice victory playing some team deathmatch as always because team deathmatches are just basically the best game modes to play I think you know there's it's not too long it doesn't get too boring the games don't get too boring and uh, it's nice and quick and short gives you plenty of time to get your kill streaks or score streaks as you like to call them so hopefully we can get some of those score streaks that would be awesome Using the H-Bar Insanity, this gun is absolute. Well, it's my favourite gun on the game. Obviously, it's the Elite variant, and it's absolute tank. It just destroys people, and it's got the silencer on it as well, and it just absolutely tanks people. That's enough of that. I've talked about this gun plenty of times before. And obviously, I did a video a couple of weeks ago, or two weeks ago, or a week ago, or something like that, um, saying about like what else should I upload, and you guys left in the comments down below saying like Mafia, GTA and stuff. Now we'll start uploading those videos soon. Um, I'm just sort of like trying to uh, find the time to... I'm going to die here. Trying to time to record those videos because it's going to take me a little bit longer because they're more like campaign based games. Well GTA is not but Mafia is more of a campaign based game so I've got to um, sort of set aside a long time. Uh, a long period of time for that because it's going to obviously be uh, a long game so I'm going to try and record like a few episodes in one go instead of just like one at a time so I've got plenty of that prior to um, I've got basically so I've got videos prior to so I can upload in advance kind of sort of thing I hope you guys know what I mean but we should be concentrating on winning this game. We are winning at the moment, but I've been killed like three or four times on, well, off the bat with a goddamn bloody shotgun guy. And I'm, you all know what I think of shot people with shotguns. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with using them. It's just they're ridiculously overpowered in this game. To be fair, shotguns have been ridiculously overpowered at, back since like Modern Warfare 1. Modern, War Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare. Again, in the shotgun. Has he got a suppressor on it or something? Because it doesn't even sound like he's shooting. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he did. Oh, I didn't even. Did I kill that guy? I don't even know. This H4 on Sally just tears. Well, if you can get on a streak, it just goes on an absolute tear. What? I hate it when people spawn behind you. Like, you spawn in that spot, and then, like, two seconds later, an enemy spawns right behind you. And I find in Advanced Warfare that happens a lot. That's why you get a lot of um, people complaining that you get that you get killed in the back. Because that happens. Ridiculously. Haven't got a streak yet, which is... Which is a bit annoying, but we are winning the game, which is better. So, you know I'm all about winning that game. Getting the victory. Come on, enemies, where are you? Come on, come through the door. Well, there's loads to my. There's loads to my right there. Oh, what? <laughs> when you just see some red coming towards you, it's sort of like, oh no. I got a bit worried for a second. I was trying to. Ah, uh, why? Why do they do that? 
I'm not getting annoyed by it, but it just... Just is annoying. <laughs> I'm not getting annoyed by it, but it is annoying. Yeah, you make perfect sense there, Dan. Idiot. I mean, at the moment, how I'm feeling, I don't... Failed knife. I don't mind getting killed by the shotguns, because I've not played Advanced Warfare for a long time, and I'm not try-harding or anything like that. Again. I can see him coming, because he looks like a cowboy with, like, some fluorescent bloody shotgun. It's ridiculous. He wants to be noticed, yet he just absolutely tears people apart. Thing is, I keep going in that building, and that's where he's going to be, because it's, like, close quarters. And he's just obviously going to be everyone in sight with it. Because a shotgun is just, that's what it's best for, isn't it? Close quarter battle. Yeah, my knife just didn't want a knife. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the Black Ops 3 video I did. Or previous, the previous video. Um, yeah. I can't wait for Black Ops 3. Black Ops 2 was my favourite game. And obviously it's been too long. It's felt so long since they released the game. Or Treyarch have released the game. Which is annoying because I really cannot wait. Oh my god. My shooting is all over the place. Um, yeah, I really cannot wait for it. I'm going to be... Hopefully get it on both consoles. PS3 and PS4. Well, well not both consoles. Same console, but different. Um, uh, generation, should I say. I can't speak English today. Getting all my words mixed up. Oh, hand down, I'll it. And then I get killed by the side. Well, they have pulled this right in close. This is going to be a close finish. I'm negative. What's going on? It's because of that shotgun guy. Eat that double kill. Eat that. Oh yes, finally get a knife. When it matters. Oh, really? Only had to be one guy, didn't it? Couldn't have been anyone else. Oh my god, this is so going to be so... This could be close. Oh, we win. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like green. Leave down in the comments if you're looking forward to Black Ops 3. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.